Hi there, everyone. Welcome. I want to talk to you today about how to be positive, powerful and productive. That's a great thing, isn't it? If you can wake up and feel positive and productive through the day, then really you feel powerful. And um, this is in my intuitive business and network program. And I'm going to be putting out a lot more of these videos. So I hope you like it. But um, when we're talking about being powerful, positive and production, you want to plan for success. And you know, I, I found through life that if you do plan, and you plan for success, you think of the think of the best outcome, you keep that in your mind, then it will happen. And uh, one of my um, people in my life that really made a huge impact was Dr. John Demartini. And he always used to say, if you fail to plan, you plan to fail. I don't know whether that was his original quote, but it always stuck with me. And I thought, yeah, you know, that is so true. Um, so, you know, you, you want to step into your power, get organized, make a plan. That's number one, because when you make a plan, you get like clarity. And I find when people get stressed, you know, through my coaching um, program, that I have a stress buster program, I'll do a video on, on that one day but you know when you're stressed it comes from like confusion not really knowing what you're doing not really knowing where you are where you want to go and making a plan so if you can get those things together then you know first of all take stock it's like do an audit on your life this is where i am Okay, where do you want to go? That's your intention and your goals. Make a plan to get there. And to stay in that positive mindset, set a routine. So, and that keeps you on track. And then to stay and be productive, you want to prioritize you, your work. Like, and when you do that, then you can really make it happen. Okay, so let's go through these points individually. So get organized. I love this. I'm a real organized you know, person. I have everything sort of mapped out. So you want to make a plan, follow it, map it out. Do a monthly overview. I mean, it's great to do like a five-year plan and a one-year plan and even longer. But if you let's just sort of pull it back and work on what are we got to do today to get organized. So do like a monthly overview. What do you want to achieve in that time? There's many systems. I like Evernote. I'm a big tables fan. So if Evernote, you can get a tables in, um, you know, I color coded, it's got little boxes that you can tick. Um, and so, you know, I love that program for, my, for myself. It's very detailed, but there's, you know, there's lots of others like OneNote and I also use, you know, Hub, um, Hub Spot. So whatever works for you. I mean, before I did Evernote, I used to just do it on my notes on the phone. So, you know, the system really isn't that important. What's important is that you find something that works for you, you incorporate it, and then you make it work. Okay, so once you get your monthly plan in, then you break it up into weeks. Okay, this is what I want to achieve this month break it up and put it straight into the weekly calendar. Then you chunk it down even further and break it up into the smaller action points. This is really what I use the weekly Evernote program for. Um, so once you break that down into the smaller action points, it's like, you know, you've got like a plan to follow. And even if you don't get everything done on that day, then you can take it into the next day or reschedule it into the next month or whatever but that way nothing falls through the cracks and that's what you want to do that's like being a like a reliable business person nothing falls through the cracks the second point is create a routine okay so review your plan at the end of each day that's what I like to do anyway you can come up with something else but you know when you have like a plan of what you're going to do okay look at the end of the day then we'll reschedule it because you know what 
there's going to be days where your routine is totally interrupted. And that's okay. It it happens. Things come out of the blue. Things blindside you. So you know what? Relocate it. Get back on schedule. Get back on track. And off you go again. But if you've got that routine to fall back on, you know, if you get out of it for a day or two here and there, no big issue. You just get back into your routine. Three, prioritize. This, you know, this is not new information, but you know what? It's really important because, I mean, personally, I find when I do that bunch of those small things and then you make a call to change your internet or something, it's like, the whole day's gone before you know it it's like you know five or six o'clock at night so you know it's a very unsatisfied feeling when that happens <laughs> I think for me it is anyway so you want to work out what do you want to achieve what is your highest priority each and every day and and put that in first okay and then when you when you accomplish that you feel like you know you've done something you feel like you're heading in the right direction there's light at the end of the tunnel all those sort of analogies and you're really getting you're really getting somewhere and when you can see your goals come together and you have that sense of accomplishment you really feel feel encouraged so it encourages you to step up and do more so yeah it's perfect awesome and amazing okay all right so you want to manage your time and like here's this quote here from henry jm newen our greatest fulfillment lies in giving ourselves rather yeah I, I, you know, that's beautiful. It's so true. I have to agree with that. When, you know, when we reach out and support guidance to help others, because guess what? You know, sometimes we're reaching out, sometimes they're reaching out to us. So as that saying goes, what goes around comes around. So you want to do that. That's a, that's a given. You want to be there for the people that you love and support and the people that love and have supported you. Okay. But be mindful of here because it's easy to give away your personal power without even noticing it or you know knowing that it's happening because when this happens too often then you fall behind in your own goals agenda and responsibilities so it's a balance first of all you want to be mindful to attend to your own business get that locked away because if you don't what happens is you fall you fall sort of within or out of integrity within yourself okay and it's like you know when you keep saying things to yourself oh i'm going to do this and you don't follow through that's when you're out of integrity within yourself so you know whether it's getting up to go to the gym in the morning or um you, you know something that you're going to do or some studying or you know whatever it is don't overload yourself and keep telling yourself you're going to do things and not do it you're better just to you know take it off the list make and wait until you have one time to do it two you feel inspired to do it and then that gives you the intention and the commitment to follow through so you know you want to manage your time not for just you know everyone else but for what you're doing for yourself too all right okay so my business is intuitive business i'm an intuitive consultant um i do have the gift of insight i also have an amazing amount of business experience i founded and ran a company for 10 years with 100 employees um so i love to impart all this knowledge to people so you know one of my missions in life is for is to help people step into their most powerful self and to build their greatest grandest life their life purpose and step into their soul purpose okay so we, i do this through um, coaching consultations courses if this is something that you feel would benefit you then give me a call um, send me an email and let's discuss it and you know let's do a 15 minute complimentary to see where you are where you want to be and how we can design a path 
and a program for you to achieve that, okay? All right, so best wishes and um, I wish you powerful, positive and a productive day always, every day. I hope you enjoyed this video. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd love it if you did that. And I look forward to connecting with you um, soon on many levels. Thanks so much for watching. Bye for now.